Hey guys, Ryan here. Today I'm going to show you a quick uh, gameplay video of The Wizard of Oz Beyond the Yellow Brick Road. Uh, this is a game for the Nintendo DS. I never really knew it existed beforehand until I saw it on the list and it's I gotta say it's one of the most interesting games I've played in a very long time. It's like a mixture of um, your favorite RPGs and it's wonderfully executed. Here I'll just show some of the gameplay. I won't really talk much during this video, I'll probably add in some audio later on the computer. Um, but basically, uh, take a look at this game. Alright, to start off, most of this game takes place on the top screen, and uh, from what I can tell, you do not use any buttons whatsoever. You basically use a stylus and a touch screen, that's it. On uh, the bottom screen has a trackball, which you use to move uh, Dorothy. And you just basically pretend it's like a trackball like in real life. You just keep rolling into the direction you want to go and she'll go. If you suddenly stop, she'll suddenly stop. It's really nice animation for her as well. And along the path there are some uh, monsters. Each uh, of the monsters have a weakness based on the four characters from the story. And if you're wondering, the story uh, pretty much uh, is the same thing to the actual book. Uh, slight differences, but overall it's the same thing. Uh, they explained it really well. Um, what else is on the bottom screen is the uh, like the menu and a uh, place to choose your attacks and options stuff like that. It's nothing really interesting on the bottom screen. Just you need to you know have use it to do stuff. But the top screen is all the action. Um, I don't know why this game is in a frame. Uh, I'm not fully sure why. I guess it helps tell the story or something. I really don't know. But you see the blue frame right there. It's weird. And the, the battle system is sort of like. Um, Dragon Warrior, or Dragon Quest, whichever you want to call it, but that's what the battle system is like, uh, kinda. But it's really interesting. The graphics are very nice. Um, if I had recorded the intro, you would have seen it. Here's a look at the portraits of the characters. I gotta say, the portraits are well done, and the redesign of Dorothy and everyone else is really... Uh, I like it. It makes the story look more different than uh, the actual storyline from before. And here you can see me spinning around Dorothy on the trackball. Yes, and Toto, he, um, you can actually play with Toto. There's a little dog icon at the bottom. You see the way she runs? It's, it's kind of cool. I, I really never thought, like, a, you know, a Wizard of Oz game would play like this. So after about, um, two hours in the game, I finally reached the first save point, which is not in this video, it's actually after the video. But the first save point is just as you get to the Wizard of Oz. And he explains to you that the Witch of Witch of Winter is trying to take over the land using her three daughters, um, Summer, Spring, and Fall. Um, so it's kind of like the Wicked Witch of the West, except it's the Witch of, this, Witch of Winter. So uh, your goal is to go to these uh, witches and kill them. Brutally kill them with your sword or whatever else. I think Dorothy has a broom, actually. That's kind of cool. But yeah, uh, that's the story. Uh, they really exaggerated much, but overall the gameplay is simple. Um, I didn't see anything complicated yet. From what I can tell, it's just get from point A to point B and stay alive. And the only tactical differences would be in battle. Like for instance, uh, Dorothy can kill a uh, gummy ghost, which are the green ghosts that you see me kill before. She is like super effective against them. Whereas the scarecrow is super effective against the um, the jellyfish, the tiger he's effective against crabs, oddly enough. And uh, I think you're gonna see me fight the uh, tin man. The tin man is effective against uh, these weird plant-like creatures, but they each have their own elements and their own super effectiveness. Um, even though I haven't really played this game long, like just about two hours only. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I got actually got into it, and I didn't realize time flew by so fast while I was playing it. Uh, I can't wait to actually uh, get back into this game, so I'm going to go get back into it right now, and you just watch the rest of this video.